Fox 4 is the first to show you this video from Lee Health as Hurricane Ian moved into Health Park Medical Center, sinking cars in about 45 minutes time. The video sped up here. You just hear that wind just whipping and howling. It was also around this time. Something just wasn't right. Nikija Lynch Escobar's four month son, Jaira, just out of NICU two months earlier, got sick with RSV and it was getting worse. As soon as the power went out, things started to decline. It wasn't until the next morning that it was safe enough for an ambulance to get Jaira to Golisano's Children's Hospital. They had power. That was good. It was cool in there until I used the restroom and there's no water. Huh? It's a hospital. It's not something that you think of a place that would not have water. Hey, no flushing, no washing hands. 24 hours later, mother and son were forced to evacuate again. Then a doctor coming in and saying we would have to be um, flown out or moved because the governor was shutting down the hospitals. Nikija sharing these videos of the evacuation from Golisanos to a hospital in Tampa. She was one of 416 patients transferred in five days to more than 50 different hospitals across the state. 67 were NICU babies, according to a Lee Health report. It, it was monumental. It was. Fox 4 investigating tonight the lessons learned by our area hospitals, NCH Healthcare in Collier County, HCA Healthcare in Charlotte County, and Lee Health in Lee County. Speaking with Lee Health's Director of Public Safety and Emergency Management, Gloria Graham. It was the biggest disaster that I had ever been you know, charged with kind of managing. Fox 4 obtained this after Ian action report from Lee Health showing four main themes involving staffing, training and pay. But it was the loss of water that was public enemy number one. We have made the very difficult decision to evacuate our patients. Health Park here at Lee Health got hit the hardest. The parking lot that I'm standing in was underwater. That means dozens of patients and staff cars wiped away. But the biggest problem with Lee Health's hospital system was the loss of water pressure. Both Golisano's and Health Park, as long as Cape Coral Hospital, three of the four hospitals losing total water pressure. You know, we're doing a lot of things as it relates to infrastructure. Instead of relying on Lee County utilities alone, Lee Health is now taking infrastructure on themselves, building their own wells at hospitals. We do fully intend to put wells at all of our campuses so that we can have an independent water source. And contracting out temporary tankers for the 2023 hurricane season until those wells are built. And while water was running dry at Lee Health, this is Fawcett ICU. it was pouring in at HCA Fawcett Memorial in Port Charlotte. Part of the roof ripped open and the flooded ICU was seen nationwide. With around 160 patients having blown off as Hurricane Ian was pounding Florida. Fox 4 was there in January when the hospital and ICU reopened. It happened very quickly um, with the amount of work that we had to do. And they invested in what's called a Tiger Dam system, seen here, used just last month for Hurricane Idalia, which stretches and changes shape to stop flooding. NCH Healthcare in Collier County is investing in something similar. I want to tell you that we're working really hard as a team. Though NCH didn't have flooding, they are improving employee communications, building their own internal severe weather website, and replacing all first floors with impact glass doors. Also, the next major hurricane has less of an impact on those who need help the most. In Fort Myers, Nadine Giannis, Fox 4.